Hi, welcome to day 20. Yes, we are in the 20s, so we only have two more days left. Um, today, we are going to do another flow, as I promised. Um, when I come to the mat, I like to have a purpose, an intention, or something to focus on. Today, I want to really focus on that sort of ab prep, that upper ab flexion. And what's really interesting is that flexion we can think about in every single exercise. So that's what we're gonna do today. So it's pretty cool how all of these exercises are really like one big giant exercise. And that's how we uniformly work the body. And um, all of these exercises sort of flow into one another, but ultimately they are the same exercise you'll see in this workout. All right, you ready? Let's get started. And just a reminder that you know your body at this point, so modify when you need to, do what you need to, just make sure you keep moving your body. And if something gets frustrating, that's okay. It just means it's something that you can work towards or work through and just focus on what you can do, okay? This is not about um, thinking that you can't do things. This is all about what you can do and celebrating all that your body can do for you, okay? So let's get started. All right, so we're here on our mat and we're using our mat as a prop. Oh yeah. So what are you gonna do? Align that body, get connected. Let go with a few cleansing breaths. Transitioning yourself here to your mat and letting everything else go. Getting excited for this time that you can fully focus on you and your body. Hmm. With each breath, you're gonna find yourself more connected and more ready to get started. Good, take an inhale and exhale. Good, and then on your next inhale, just stretch and lift those ribs and let them open and close. You can bring those arms down, do it again. Lift and stretch, let those ribs lift and open. Ah, and bring it down. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale. We're going to hover those feet and just find that connection into your body and take an inhale. Make sure that low back is not arching. And then we're going to let it go and maybe scooch those feet down a little bit further. Take an inhale to prepare. Oh, and exhale. Hover it up. Let's do it. We're just going to move and enjoy. Let it go. Walk down a little bit further if you want or keep your feet where they are. And let's Keep that connection and use your abdominals to pull those knees right on into your chest. Good. Take an inhale here. Really breathe into your back. Exhale. Flex up. Stay right there. What does this feel like to flex the upper back? So I'm lifting the chest, reaching my head up to the sky, pulling my ribs back as I lift and really find that longest flexion. Let's take it back down. I want to try it again. We flex it up and press up. Ooh, arms are wide, her back is wide, arms are on your back. One more time. I wanna do one more. I want you to really feel how that breath fills your back. And you can use that breath to help press the back deeper into the mat and help that flexion. Start to pump those arms, take an inhale and an exhale. So you're staying in this flexion, right? Just enjoy it in your breath. And notice the longest flexion you can make and how it comes from that center. Reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, but you're reaching the tailbone in opposition. Good. Keep breathing. <laughs> I might extend my legs and see how that feels. If you want, you can. You don't have to. Good. Really press those thighs together and flex, get deeper. Can you stretch longer as you flex up and not just lift up into it, right? Find that length. And we're gonna press those arms and legs down, get long, but this time you're gonna keep those ribs down and take an inhale, start to flex up. Use your exhale and we're gonna dive it over for three, two, one. We roll it back, stretch through those heels. Keep those heels anchored though. If we're stretching through the heels and they lift up and they're not making contact with the mat, you've hyperextended. Push those heels down, get into the muscles. Squeeze those hips together. I'm gonna go into some rollovers. Feel free to continue your roll-ups. All right, we take it up and over. Now here, right, what are we doing? 
we're just doing that ab flexion here, that ab prep. That's what that position right here is, right? So stretch through the head, pull those ribs back. Stretch out through the tail, right? Keep those legs open, go up and over. Try not to tent those wrists. I have a tendency to do that because my back gets tight. Good. Upper ab flexion, so we're not crunching into it. You have that length. All right, one leg down, one leg up, five circles. So even though we've got a long spine here, try to think about that upper ab flexion, right? We're pulling the ribs down and you're stretching through the crown of your head. Free each direction, pull it in. Good, switch sides, take it up and three. Anchor the heel and hamstring, three the other way. Good, now hug it in. Give me that upper ab flexion and continue that flexion to come up. So we're here. All right, so now I want you to lift tall, come to those, those tippy toes. Now, as you're tall, all you're gonna do is give me that upper ab flexion, that upper, like little upper ab curl. You feel that? All right, the rest of the spine is long and then let those toes hover. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna come up. And you just have that upper ab flexion. We're not changing the pelvis. Can you find that exhale to help with it? Like reach long and then a little scoop. Reach long, pulling the ribs back, lifting that chest up and over one more time. So we're not just crunching into it, right? All right, pull down, bring those legs in with you. All right, finding that upper ab curl, take an inhale, breathe into your upper back. Exhale, we flex it up, one leg in, one leg out, and just find that. Draw your center and reach out of the crown of your head. Now pull your ribs back and lift your chest up and over. Pull, 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 three on each side. Good, right into double legger. Reach, hold it. Center, ribs pull back, reach your body up and over. Find that upper ab flexion, pull in. Two more. Legs up. All right, same idea. We haven't changed that spine at all, right? Pull, pull. But those legs are reaching up now, but you still have that upper ab flexion. It has not changed. Good. That upper ab flexion has not changed, has it? The arms just go behind the head. Stretch it long, reach through, keep that upper ab flexion, pull back in. Two more, two, one. Now we're keeping that upper ab flexion as we just give it a little twist, but we're still reaching out of the crown, reaching out of the tail. Ribs pull back as we lift that chest over. Yeah, one more each side. Good, come on in and bring it on up. Beautiful job. All right, so we're gonna go into spine stretch. All this is is that ab scoop. It's that upper ab flexion. So anchoring the heels, the hamstrings. Find your seat and hips. Take an inhale. Now notice when you're lying on your back and I have you just come on up like we when we're doing the 100. Same position in the spine, and then just come back up. Do it again. Stretch it long, and then the chest comes up and over as we pull the ribs up and back, reaching out of the crown of the head. Good. Now maybe we give it a little bit more movement. So we're not collapsing into anything, right? This same position is the same position as here, okay? One more and come on up. All right, I'm gonna go into open leg rocker, do what you want to to modify. All right, let's maybe just take our legs bent, sit up tall, and then just a little of that little ab prep position. All right, and then the legs come up. And then we can like kind of lift the legs to wherever is comfortable, where you can keep your spine <laughs> as it was. Right, we're not collapsing. And maybe you roll back and oh, up, back. And those ribs pull back and up, reach out of the crown of your head. And we take those legs down and find your saw. And again, I'm not trying to collapse my spine, okay? All I'm doing is that little ab curl. Thank <sighs> you. 
One more each side. Good, and release. Let's turn to our stomach. Okay, so now all this is, is that little ab prep curl on our stomach in extension. So anchor the pubic bone and reach those legs long. And then it's just a reverse ab curl. So drawing the belly in, we're now just working the spine in an opposite direction, but it's the same idea. Press through the chest, reach out of the crown of the head, reach out of the tail and lower down. Inhale. And the more that you can get movement this way, the more your ab flexion is gonna be more connected and you're gonna have more range of motion and you're gonna get stronger, all right? So it's really important to get this range of motion to get your other ranges of motion stronger. One more time. Good, all right, so we'll take the hands to the forehead. Now squeeze your thighs together. Let's lift everything up and down. Up and down. Lift. One more or two more times. Really reach out of the tail, out of the head. Press through the chest. One more time. Lift the seat, hamstrings, inner thighs. Good. And we come up and kick, kick. So in this position, same idea. We're on the forearms, but we're lifting the center up and we're trying to give that extension just the opposite direction of the flexion. So think of it as flexion in the reverse direction. <laughs> Does that make sense? Good, one more each side. Beautiful. All right, we're just gonna take it down and we're gonna take our hands right behind our low back, squeeze your thighs together, anchor the pubic bone and give me three kicks now. All right, press down, reach through the tail, reach through the crown, and then just sort of lift those upper arms and find that reverse flexion. And one, two, three, reverse flexion. Arms lift on your back. Lift those arms straight up to the sky. So the arms don't reach back, they <laughs> try to reach up. One more time. And bring it. So we just scoop it Ooh, back. All right, lie down, take it to your back. So I'm actually gonna do high scissors. If you don't wanna do the high scissors, just go to the regular scissors that we do in our ab series. That's just the single straight leg or do something else that you wanna do, okay? So we're gonna pull our knees into us, stretch our legs out, and then just roll over like we do in the rollover, and then place your hands right on your low back, right by your seat. So in this position, try to find that little ab prep, okay? So we're scooping the belly, we're right on our back muscles, looking straight up to the sky. So we have that nice length in our neck. Now we don't wanna collapse into this. We want to really just find that upper ab flexion, okay? And now we lift the legs up towards the sky. One leg tries to reach forward. All right, use your seat and hamstring to do that. Really weight on your back, kick, kick. The other leg up. One leg up, one leg forward. Uh, uh, one leg up, one leg forward. So we're not collapsing the other leg into us. One leg reaches up to the sky. The other tries to reach forward. Up to the sky forward, use your seat and hamstring. And you're just in that little ab curl. Just look straight up to the sky. And then just bend it in, bring those legs down and then curl it up into your bridge. Nice job. All right. I told you I was working on intermediate advanced stuff in this series. All right. Hold here. Reach one leg up, flex down, up, flex down for three, two, one. Beautiful. Other side. Reach and flex. Good for three, two, one. And curl it down. Bring your legs in roll it up and let's sit it up.
All right, so we're nice and tall here. Arms are gonna go wide and we're just gonna flex our feet, squeeze those hips together. Give me one, two, three, come to center. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more each side. Good, look over that shoulder. Beautiful, come to center. All right, we're gonna turn to our side for a little side kick series. All right, so we don't have an ab curl in this. Instead, we're trying to find length. The longest spine we can, lift up, kick, kick, back, back. So these are our scissors, the ones that we did, the high scissors, same thing. Good, now we go up and down, lift and lower. Three, two, one, lift up, press it back behind us. Ooh, really reach, get longer in your spine, and then three circles. Reach out of the crown of the head, reach out of the tail. Good. Lift up, turn to the side, other way. Line it up with your mat. All right, lift up and reach, reach. Back, back, ah. Good, long spine. And we go up and down. Three, two, one. Lift up, press it back behind you. Three circles each way. Get longer in that spine, pull those ribs back. Reach through the tail and the head. <laughs> Good. And we come on up. All right, spin it around. Give me some teasers. Again, you can prep it out or do the full ones with me. So just reach it here, pull the center in, pull the ribs in. All right, we're just going to find that ab curl and at the same time lift the legs. All right, so curl it into that little ab prep and start to hover those legs and then everything comes up. All right, arms up, roll it down through that ab curl. Up. One more. And then just the legs. Three, two, one, and everything down. Good job. Turn to your stomach. Only gonna go two series there. <laughs> All right. So we have our swimming. Lift up into that reverse flexion, okay? Reverse it and then just swim it out. Reach through that chest. Keep lifting and reach and press it back. Roll it up. All right, so now we're gonna do our side kicks, but advanced version, hips over knees, hands behind the head, reach it over, reach that leg forward and back for three, two, one, good, now up and down for three. Three, two, one, lower it down. Let's turn to a plank and lift up plank and then just bring it forward and back. Reach through the tail. Good, now hold right here and then just give me that little ab prep curl. Little ab prep curl and then come back to center. One more time, little ab prep curl. Now continue that ab prep curl as you lift the hips. Good, lower the heels. You still have the ab curl, maybe a little tuck of the tail as you come back down and find it. So ab curl again, chin towards the chest. Give me that scoop. One more time. And ab curl. Good, drop to the knees, send it back, bring it up. Other side, I'll lift you. All right, you ready? Hands behind the head, pelvis over knees, take it over. All right, stretch that leg forward and back for three, two, one, up and down. Three, two, one, and then send it down. Turn your fingers towards your hips and then lift it up. Now give me that little ab curl. So pull the ribs in and maybe flex just a smidge as you lift up and then we bring it down. Try it again. And we press through the legs, power to the pelvis. Now pull the ribs in and just take the chest forward a little bit. Good, and lower down. One more time. Press, squeeze the thighs together and just take it in, crisscross those legs, come up and then scoop it forward. So now just trying to do that little ab prep curl here. We're gonna do our boomerang. So you're gonna use your center to try to lift those legs. Here we go. And lift. Ooh. Cross those legs. We're just in our little ab curl. Come on up. And again. 
standing on the mid back, but really focus on a strong ab curl. Just the upper abs, upper body flexion, the longest spine you can make. Last one. And release, good, turn it to your stomach. All right, if you wanna do another type of extension, you can. You don't have to go into um, what we're doing if your knees bother you, all right? So what I want you to do is you can just kind of just go into simple ab flexions or swimming, go into single leg kicks or something. So you're gonna take your foot, pull it in and you're gonna grab it. And you wanna sort of pull your heel to your seat and I want you to get your pubic bone heavy and your tail long. Squeeze your hamstring in your seat there. Okay, how does that feel? And then you're gonna take your other hand on your foot. And then we wanna to try to keep our thighs as close together as we can and really anchor the pubic bone. Find your seat and hamstrings. All right, this is why this is advanced. This is why we practice all the basics. We're not just hanging out in this. If you did, you're going right into your low back, right? but engage the seat, the hips, the hamstring, the inner thighs, pubic bone heavy, center in, right? All those muscles working. Your arms are on your back. And now as you press your feet into your hands, notice how your arms are connected to your back and then release that. So just a little bit. Press the feet into the hands. You find your seat and hamstrings more. Those arms are attached to your back and look what happens because they're attached to your back. Your back lifts, okay? So we're gonna try that again. Push the feet into the hands, find your seat and hamstrings, pubic bone heavy, and then the arms just pull the mid back up and release one more time. And we just pull it up and release. Good, and send it back. Nice job, I know those are hard if you tried it with me, good job. All right, so spin it around. I'm gonna do a little seal. And then we're gonna stand, okay? How'd you do today? I know it was a little bit more advanced. Roll back. These were Joe's exercises, right? But you can see how when you think about that upper body flexion, all of the exercises worked with each other. One more time and then we'll come up. Stand it up. Good job. <laughs> all right, so I just wanna do one push up sequence. All right, we're going to lift up. Okay, we're going to dive it down, walk out. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then ab curl, right? Right into that ab curl. We've been working it the whole time. Keep that ab curl. Keep that ab curl. Keep it. One more time. Keep it and then roll it all the way up and down. Hands behind the head and then just lift the heels and lower for three, Two, one, then lift those heels and just bend the knees. Three, two, and one. Bring it down, get those legs wide, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll down, a little ab curl. So I got my ab curl and then I'm gonna continue down. Keep my ab curl as I try to swing my legs through. And all I'm doing is pulsing for my abs for three, two, one, we come on up. All right, try that again. We ab curl it down, keep it, and then just keep curling into yourself through your legs. Three, two, one, bring it up. And one more time, upper ab curl. Continue that sensation and just dive it. Three, two, one, up and around. So elegant, how was it? All right, so how'd you do? So in the beginning, I said, don't get frustrated, right? I introduced some new stuff today, um, more advanced stuff. So um, if you were ready for it, how fun was it? If you didn't feel ready for it, think of all of those exercises we've been doing that work those muscles. Like when we were doing that extension work with our feet, there's so many other exercises that we've done that work those same muscles. So you could do bridge work, you could do, you know, any sort of extension work that opens your hips and works your glutes and hamstrings and keeps your center in. So all that kind of stuff. When we did those high scissors, um, just working maybe on your rollovers or working on your roll up, which is just that upper ab flexion, 
can do your bridges where we work the upper back strength. So all of these exercises are just building on each other, but they all are working your body uniformly in the same way. So that's why it's like kind of one big giant exercise. Anyway, I hope it was fun. I hope it wasn't frustrating. Um, I can't believe it. Time is flying, right? I feel like so much has happened these 21 days. <laughs> and Sort of you've been here with me through it all. Um, I can't wait for tomorrow. And if you're doing with this, if you're doing this with me live, it's New Year's. It's 2021. No, it's 2021 over. It's 2022. <gasps> Holy cow. 2022. Pretty groovy. All right. Enough of my yabbering. Have a good one. Bye.